Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Mesma Delight and on this channel I do post sewing tutorials. Today's video is all about a well a world pocket with flap tutorial. This is my first time actually making a world pocket and I must say it came out very nice. So I'm going to walk you through the process of achieving a world pocket with a flap. So if you're interested in learning how to make a world pocket, that's a flap. Let's get right into this. Okay, so I folded my material into two and I cut this. That's my flap. I cut it out. So fold the material into two when you want to cut your flap. So for the width of my flap, I have 3.5. And for the length of my flap, I have six, adding one inch extra allowance. That's seven. All right. So I have this other piece that I, when I cut, like I didn't fold this into two, like it's not in two, just, it's just a piece. For the length of this, I have 10. And for the width, I have three. Please, when cutting yours, make yours four. Because when sewing, I felt like the three wasn't enough. Okay, so what I want to do now, I want to iron my stay on this. Okay, so I've ironed my stay on this um, pieces and this side is looking like. So now I'm bringing up my flap. Make sure it's equal to equal at both sides. And I'm going to measure half inch from top to bottom at both sides. Now I did this so I can take away that. One inch ex one inch allowance added to the length of my flap. So half plus half it gives me one inch. So I'm marking out that one inch now using my that half inch sorry at both sides using my ruler. That's done. I will go over to my sewing machine. I will sew on those lines. Now I'm bringing out this other piece. I want to get the midpoint. So this is just me trying to get the midpoint of this. Make a straight line. Now I'll fold it into two again. Good. Now for my flap, remember it's six adding one inch. I have seven. So you see? So what I want to do, three plus three will give me six. I want exactly the length of my flap without the allowance. So I'm marking three. And I'll turn it to the other side and I also mark that same three. So that's done. Now I want to go in by half inch from top to bottom. So half inch will be at both sides of the line. So just what I'm doing and do yours like mine. So that's done. I'll use a ruler to connect this. So just see what I'm doing and connect yours like mine. Okay. So that's done. Now I want to create something like an a V. Just see a V I'm creating. So create your V. Like you see me create mine. Okay, so that's done. So now it's time for us to sew this. So bring it up. Like you bring out the P skirt or whatever you want to attach this wells pocket to. Using your chalk, you mark where you want your pocket to be. Like exactly how point you want your pocket to be. Make a mark at that um part all right so now i'm going to get this piece i didn't fold like this piece now and i'm going to make sure that the center line is going to be exactly on the line i drew on my skirt that is exactly where i want my pocket to be i'm going to use my pin to pin this down all right so that's done now i'm going to sew round the line like i'm not going to sew on the center line i will sew on the box minus the center line you know what let me go back to my simulation and i show you what i mean okay so placing this on my sewing machine i want to sew around that box so just see what i'm doing i'm going to sew around the box make sure you're sewing exactly on the line right and don't forget to make a stitch so that's done i'll bring it out of my machine 
so now i want to cut or like i want to cut through it like i want to open up this but before that i'll pick up my flap and i'll sew on top of that half half inch i took out cutting my thread i will sew again at the other line at the other side make sure it's equal to equal when sewing yours Okay, so bringing up my flap, I will just make um, you not know, use round wrapper. I sew. The essence of doing this is so that this will relax when we turn it up. Okay, so I've turned up that flap, and that's just the flap you're seeing now. So now bringing up my skirts, I'm going to fold this into two like. That part I sewed, I want to fold it into two so I can cut through the middle line. Just what I'm doing, I'm trying to fold yours like mine. So I just want to get the center line so I can cut through it. And so now I've made an incision at the center line, I can open it up and now cut through. So just see, I'm cutting exactly at the line. At the center line. And I'm going to follow that V I need, like cutting it, following that V shape I need. I'll do the same for the other side. So make sure you cut like you cut it very well. Right. So now that's done. So I'm going to turn this up. So see what I'm doing? I'm going to push this through that incision I need. So the next thing now is to go over to our iron and iron this flat. Okay, so I press both my flap, my flap um down and also this my um this my skirt flat. So next, what I'm doing to create like a pleat. Just what I'm doing. The pleat should start from the center of um that um hole we need. I don't get I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but just what I'm doing in the video, I'm kind of like doing just like mine. So you make a pleat, kind of like a kissing pleat. Do make sure your iron is like close by so you can use your iron to press this down flat, else it's going to be very hard for you to achieve. Alright, so now I'm going to make that pleat. I use my iron to iron this flat so it can stay. Good. So I'm going to make the pleat for the other side. Now use my iron again to iron it down flat. Okay, so that's done. So I've ironed this down flat, and this is how the back piece looks like. Sorry, the back of this looks like. And I'll turn this over to the front so you can see how the front looks like. So yours should look like mine. Alright, so now I want to attach my, my flap to this. So I'm bringing up my flap. I'm going to place this exactly at, like on top of my, my sketch piece. Exactly at the incision, and going to go all the way to the other end of the incision I need. So just see what I'm doing. I'm kind of like doing yours like mine. So I'm going to bring my sewing machine and show you how you sew this on top of this. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I want to um, sew our pleats down. So look what I'm doing. I kind of like pushed it, um, my, my my skirt down forward, so I can get the pleats, and that's the thing you're seeing at the side. So I'm going to stitch this part down. Let me call it the sides of our pleats down. 
I'm going to repeat the same process for the other side. So you sew down your pleats and make sure you're saying exactly at that um, V, V thing you're saying right now. Okay, so that's done. We cut this out. So now we want to attach our flap. So we're going to bring the up piece. Remember your flap will attach to the upper part of your pocket. So now I'm bringing up my flap. I'm going to start attaching my flap exactly at where my incision started from to exactly at where my incision ended from. So my the length of my pocket hole is 6 and the length of my flap is 6. So they should fit properly. So look what I'm doing. Attach just like you see me attaching mine. I kind of push my material aside so I can sew on my, on like, on my pleats. Will I call it my pleats? On the top of my pleats, yes. So, so attach like you see me attaching mine. So now that I've done sewing this, we'll take our machine aside. So now I'm going to open this up so you can see it. So this is how it looks like in the back. Not mind the color of my thread because of this is a tutorial, so I didn't bother um, getting the same color of thread with my fabric. Alright, so what I want to do next is um I want to turn this up so look what i'm doing i'm turning this over to my front and i'm going to bring out my flap from this pocket hole so just i'm bringing out my flap and do bring out yours like mine so now that this is done you also go um, over to your iron and you iron this flat again okay so what i did next is i brought out i brought another material and I folded it end to. So remember the length of our, of our pocket hole is 6. So for this, I need something more than 6. So I'm going with um, 9. So for the width, I have 9. I have nine, so then I folded this piece into two so I can get the length I want this to be. So don't forget to fold yours into two. So I folded this into two. Don't forget our width is still the same nine. And for the length, I am going to use nine. So it's kind of like nine, nine for everything. So I'm going to cut this um, piece out. Okay, so bringing up my sketch piece, I want to attach this new, um, um, bring up my sketch, I want to attach this new piece I cut out now on this. So I'm going to attach it, it's going to be like a cover to my pocket. So, okay, so what you can do, you can get the center of the width of this, um, in this pocket thing mm -hmm. we cut out and the center of your pocket hole. So after doing that, just here I'm placing it. You can use your pin to hold this down. Let's attach it exactly the same way we attached a flap to this. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing just like mine. So you can get the center of your pocket in and the center of your six. Then make a notch and use your pin to hold this down. Just know attaching this the same way we attached a 
flap the only difference is that um it's going to be our pocket is going to be longer at both sides of our pocket hole so just what i'm doing and attach just like you see me attaching mine i'm placing the same way i placed my flap and i'm going to sew from that side all the way to the other side So attach it the same way you attach your flap. If you can attach this and your flap together well, please just do it. Anything that you are, like you feel you can do very well, you do that. So I'm pushing my material aside and I'm going to sew all the way down. Okay, so that's done. Cut out our thread. Now I'm going to attach the other end of this pocket seam to the, what I call it, the other side of our pocket. So just what I'm doing, pushing my material aside so you can get a better, a better view. So that's the top part. Now I want to attach it to the bottom part. So just push it up like you see me pushing mine up. Good. And I want to attach it to the other end part. Do you see? The other side of our pocket. So that's the down part of our pocket. So you place it the same way you see me placing mine and you sew. So just watch what I'm doing and do yours exactly how you see me. So bring up my machine. I want to sew this down. So watch what I'm doing and do yours like you see me doing mine. So make sure that equal to equal. That is exactly the same part you started your um, sewing for the up part. Please do the same for this. Make a stitch. All right, so I'll cut up my thread. So I successfully attached our 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 cover to our pocket. Let me call it a cover to the pocket or pocket into the cover. Anything just you want, like you can easily understand it with. You can name it exactly whatever you want to name it. So that's done. So now I want to seal um this up so see i'm pushing up my material so i can get that v again okay so so i want to sew you know i made a stitch at the pleat so from that stitch i made at the pleat i'm going to make a straight like i'm going to sew straight down so i'm getting the distance so i have um 1.5 so i'm going to mark 1.5 all the way down make a straight line and i'm going to go back to my sewing machine and i'll sew from top to bottom i'll get the distance between those two sides whatever i have there i'm going to mark all the way down so remember the distance we're getting is from where our pocketing started from to our stitch so just what i'm doing and do yours like mine so what i have there is exactly six that is the six the length of our pocket which is six what am I calling the length of our pocket? Oh yeah, the length of our pocket hole, which is six. So we have six there. So yours should be whatever the length of your pocket hole is. This should also be the same length. So if you're using ten for your pocket, the length of your pocket hole, whatever you're doing here should also be ten. So look, I'm doing. I'm making the same stitch I made from the beginning, and I will sew all the way down. Make a stitch. Okay. 
repeating the same process for the other side. Okay, so I attached it and this is how it's looking like. So yours should look like how mine is looking like. So now I want to trim out that part we sewed. So using my scissors, I'm going to trim that part out. But for that, this is how it's looking like at the front. And you see how our pocket is looking like. So let's trim this out. Now we probably trim out the other side. Now after doing this pocket, advisable that you go and weave this out so that all this won't lose out and it's going to look nice and neat. Now we turn this over to the front so you can see how it's looking like at the front. So this side looking at the front. Opening up our pocket, we have this. I'm going to put my hand through it so you can see it. So that's just all for the making of our double wheels pockets. So please, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Then, if you have any any suggestion on, on how I can make the pocket better, please do drop it because this is actually my first time of making a uh, a welt pocket with a flap. In fact, this is my first time of making a welt pocket. So whatever your suggestion is, it will really, really be helpful in making um this better. So thank you very much for watching. I hope I'll see you in my next tutorial.